A tick species from Africa can survive without food for years and live for three decades. That in a report at Study Finds, where we invite you to like and subscribe to get the latest information. That creepy crawly bit of good news about these blood sucking parasites comes to us from Binghamton University, who received a collection of the Argus Brumpty ticks back in 1976. Despite running out of food sources for the critters a few years later, the professor there discovered that ticks could survive and even reproduce asexually after the males died out. In fact, the offspring of the original ticks are still alive and reproducing today, over 45 years later. Well, let's just crack the champagne and have a birthday party, shall we? They can actually survive for nearly a decade without feeding and have a lifespan of 27 years. The Argus Brumpty is not the same as the common tick species you'll see during the summer months in America. It has a soft and leathery skin, and the African variety also bloats less and eats faster. Well, good news for them. It feeds on blood more frequently than other ticks. I feel better knowing all that information. <laughs> Professor Julian Shepard originally received six adult female ticks, four males, and three tiny nymphs. Until 1984, the infamous bloodsuckers fed on rabbits, mice, and rats in the researcher's lab. Oh, this story just keeps getting so much better. Shepard eventually stopped using lab animals, taking away the tick's food source. Despite the lack of blood, the ticks survived for another four years without feeding. At that point, all the males died, leaving the females to carry on without food or a reproductive partner. Shepard found the female ticks continued to survive for another four years without food. This sounds like a real fun place to visit. So eight years after removing the ticks food source, the researcher then reintroduced the parasites to blood. This led to yet another discovery and surprising trait of the Argus Brumpty. It turns out at least one of the female ticks was able to lay eggs and reproduce asexually, meaning without a partner. Well, good for them. The study author says the creature was able to store sperm over that long period without males around, a new record for any tick species. That batch of eggs contained both male and female ticks, which are still alive in 2022. This has got to be the longest tick study I think that I've ever read about. In fact, it's the only tick study I think I've ever read about. Uh, I can go probably another 45 years before hearing another one. Ew. There's so much more detail in the link in the description below on this and other studies at studyfinds.com.